Welcome to Fast Behavior Basics Skill 5, Supercharging Instructions. How many instructions do you think the average parent gives their child in a typical hour? One study of hundreds of families found that it was around 34 per hour. And when the child had behavior problems, the average was 88 per hour. Can you imagine what it would be like to work for a supervisor who gave you that many instructions? It would probably be pretty frustrating and overwhelming. It might make you want to just stop even trying. It can help to try to choose carefully whether or not you need to give your child a direct command and only give them when you will follow through with the consequence if they don't do what's asked. But when we do have to give direct instructions, there are some ways to do it to make them more effective and set your child up for success. But first, here's some instruction traps to avoid in skill 5.2 of the workbook. Do any of these happen for you? In a buried instruction, too much talking or explaining creates confusion. Like, it was raining yesterday, so bring your jacket because I don't want you to get wet at recess and then complain about being cold. We think we're being nice by giving our reasoning, but it's nicer to be clear. If you want to explain, do that first briefly, and at the end, end with the clear instruction. In a chain command, too many instructions one after another becomes too much to remember. Like, grab your shoes and your jacket and put your binder in your bag and meet me by the front door. We want to start with one or two steps, and when those are done, add another. It seems like more work, but you'll save time in repeating yourself. In vague commands, we don't tell our child exactly what we want them to do. Like when we say you need to behave at grandma's house or be respectful to your coach. We know what we mean, but we need it to be clear enough so that our child knows exactly what the expectation is. With distance or flyby commands, we call from a distance, come in here, it's dinner time. It takes time to go get our child's attention first, but in the end, it will save us time and headache to go in there before giving the instruction. And with repeated instructions, repeating over and over without a limit shows our child that they have lots of chances to respond. Like, put on your shoes, come on, get your shoes on, put your shoes on now. We want kids to know that they might get a warning, but we will follow through with the consequence if they don't do what we've asked. So here's some tips for supercharging your instructions. Tell them exactly what we want them to do. When we say things like, get ready, clean up, behave yourself, be respectful, there are tons of different steps we could mean. Break it down and tell them one specific behavior to do, like start by putting all the clothes in the hamper, or please put your books in your backpack, or please look at your coach when he talks. Then wait 10 seconds and watch. If you say more, you might distract them but as soon as they even start to get up or do what's asked, we want to comment and praise that behavior. Check out Skill 5 in FASTB for more tips on giving effective instructions and to set goals for yourself about which instructions you want to change.